What's up guys, 9 here, and I realize I haven't done a video on Blackout yet. And uh, I do play Blackout, I do play more of multiplayer, but uh, I do play Blackout and I do enjoy it, but I realize I just haven't made a video on it. I did a Thoughts video, I think the last COD video I did was maybe a Thoughts video or something to do with me apologizing. do want to say here, um... I do not play solo. I, I everyone knows in any BR I hate playing solo. I just hate I just hate not having someone's back or something. I, I don't know. I, it's just it gives me anxiety to the next level and it fucking sucks. So that's why I don't play it. But uh, I was playing solos to unlock you can unlock every character oh, Blackout's been out for ages. You, you know what I mean. You can unlock characters from all the Blackout, Black Ops universe, I guess, and I wanted to unlock the surf by, you know, you have to land here and you have to shoot some targets, but it wasn't here, so I'm like, ah, fuck, it's not here, so, I'll guess, I'll guess I'll continue by playing, but, uh, spoiler alert, I win, I won't tell you how many kills I got, but, as you can also tell, I'll do a little zoom in effect here. There's, um, what is that? Nine bangs? Yeah. Nine, nine are bangos. Nine are bang, nine bangs haven't been in the game for a little bit now. And to be honest, I think it's not coming back. I don't think it's coming back, boys. Just saying. I didn't have any problem with nine bangs, but, uh, I never really played, um, I never really played solo enough to realize how much of a cunt it could be. <laughs> Um, this is going to be kind of like, not a two-part, but I'm going to be talking about two things. Um, I want to say my thoughts on... I'm really sorry if you can hear outside. I don't think you can. This mic is really good for cancelling out some background noises. But if you can, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But, uh, that cunt's going to always, like... I don't think I've heard this guy do the the mowing or whatever he's doing, whip it snipping at all. And I'm like, ah, you know, I haven't made a video in a while. Let's record. Yeah, yeah he's just, he's on me. But um, anyways, um, so two points in this video is, yeah, why I'm not really uploading and what I'm actually doing because I'm not neglecting it. I kind of am. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting something in, in front of it at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll just talk about how my experience. Kind of like a, you know how I did the multiplayer first thoughts. I don't think I'm going to do a first thoughts because obviously I missed that opportunity. <laughs> and uh, doing a final thoughts, which to be honest, I'm going to be mostly talking about squads and duo. I mainly play squads. I think I got like 40 wins in squads. Something like that. And like only like 100, 100 games played. Something like that. I don't play a lot of it. But when I do, we always win. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I never got into that meme. I don't know like what it's about. I think a lot of people are actually hating that meme. But no. This ain't no meme review. You want to go watch meme review? Subscribe to PewDiePie. I'm doing my part. Um, so, first of all, uh, the beta, from what I remember of the beta, uh, I played the PlayStation and the Xbox. They were really good. I don't know why. We just, like, felt so fluent. We were getting on massive win streaks. Not the PlayStation. PlayStation was a bit weird and not all my friends had it. I was only playing with uh, Bernopoli. And it was, it was fun. The account, like, it's... It's very slow paced, uh, kind of, depending, I guess depending on your play style, because I know there's like Twitch streamers that just fucking want to go for that high kill game, man, and watching them are very, very entertaining, but there's also people that just, you know, they camp, they hide, uh, um, I'll give a bit of a warning, there is some camping I do here, I think these parts I go to the toilet or something, or... I do something, like, obviously I wasn't making this, uh, this gameplay for YouTube, but I just happened to win my first and only solo. <laughs> I don't play solo, I was just doing it to unlock a character, and then, uh, I think after this game finished, I'm like, oh, you can just unlock the character in duos or squads, it's just random, and I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, um, the beta, the beta was fun, from what I can remember. Not too many memories of the beta, except for going to, like, always going to that one spot and trying to learn everything about it and all that. And it's fun. It, it is it is slow-paced compared to Fortnite, but Fortnite is, like, a really quick, 
fast-paced game. The games are over pretty quick. This one, they're 20 to 30 minutes, depending how people play. Now it's a little bit, like, longer now. I don't know. I think the meta has changed, and it's just camp and BM. It's, it's really bad, but I'll get to that. The map is amazing. It's definitely f more fast-paced than, um, uh, what's it called? Fuck, it's a dead game now. PUBG. <laughs> Sorry if anyone's really big on PUBG, but I honestly haven't touched that since, I guess, two two years or however long it's been. I like the pace. I like the feel of it because I'm more of a Call of Duty person than anything in the multiplayer genre, I would say. I play Call of Duty games more hours than anything I have even played to be honest. Call of Duty is uh, my home, I guess I would say, for multiplayer games. I don't know, I just feel more comfortable. Like, the Battlefield, I don't know if I'm going to give Battlefield's uh, BR a go. I don't know when that's coming out. It's a bit weird how games these days, when they get released, it's always a beta, or it's just the bones? I, I'm trying to do, like, a description of, like, how games are released now. It's just literally... A skeleton and you get pieces of the meat and the organs you need to make a full human year by year and it's just I don't know to be honest like games like that they die so much quicker like Sea of Thieves I know Sea of Thieves people may still enjoy the game it's a good concept and at first it was good but with the lack of uh, content on release it just died very quick and you know when it when it dies to someone it's very hard to revive back so that's why I think this game was really good because it was like everything you're playing right here you're gonna get this blackout game mode which could just be the greatest BR of all time Besides Fortnite, because Fortnite just they know what they're doing they've been doing this for much longer but we'll see we'll see and um you get zombies with, what, four maps? There's so many maps for zombies. Just for launch, man. It's insane. And then you get multiplayer. And multiplayer has, what, 14 maps? Even though about ugh, eight of them are remakes? Ah, I'm kind of kidding. I'm kind of kidding. I don't know how many remakes it has. But um, Blackout, it's fun. It definitely is fun. The meta right now, actually, I'll talk about that. The The meta of this game has changed just dramatically. I don't know if it was in that, that time frame of me just smashing out multiplayer and then coming back to it. And now that there's no nine bangs, I don't think they changed the meta. I think people just kind of adjusted to it and... I have no clue because I wasn't in the, the blackout like game thing whatever you, you want to call it for like for ages until I got the 10th prestige I'm like alright let's go back to this and it's so slow it is so freaking slow and boring there's no way like anyone like unless you're physically really trying you're not going to get any high kill games just for the fact that people like to camp, and if you're playing squads or duos and you go down, you bet your fucking ass you're gonna be going back to the fucking lobby because they're just gonna BM you. Oh, BMing, mean bad manner, just going around and just killing a person that is down just for the hell of it, just to get you out of the game. All the time, every time. I don't know if I have clips, but I have like, I have seen people put me down around the corner. I don't know if that's rather like where I jump and then he shoots me in the fucking toe and I'm like already around the corner and him rushing the door knowing that my teammate is watching me like bait I would say baiting me well let's say baiting just for the, the visual that I'm trying to give you here the image and then he comes through the door like strafing like he's walking sideways to down me and they are sweating so much to kill someone that is down a defenseless person that they think they're gonna fucking just pull out a shotgun while they're down i don't know i i tend to just not do that i usually go for kill kill them and then try and kill the others if there's not around maybe i will be him just seeing how seeing how these people uh like if there's people around him i it it kind of ruins it because then you have to sit there and watch your friends like 
battle layout and then also it kind of takes out the the chance of actually winning and oh, I don't I don't know right now right now I'm not having fun with it because everyone just BMs or plays like little fucking bitches and hides and I, I it we we still win and all that but like when let's say the matches go for let's say 25 minutes this goes for 25 minutes I think and let's say the match goes for 25 minutes you don't see anyone until that like that final five minutes it's it's not good it's it's very it's it's hard to explain it's very hard to explain because some people may enjoy that I don't I'm speaking for myself to be honest and there's nothing you can do it's not like Vondi or the you know, Treyarch team are gonna go ah you can't you're gonna be shown on the map a massive blip like a fucking light beam like the light the, the mystery box and shit it's just not fair I think you see some like I, I camp I think I, like fucking what how long are we in 12 minutes and I'm here <laughs> Still a fire range? I am camping a little bit, but if I don't have to move, I'm not going to move. It's not like I'm gonna fucking be holding this one building off. I'm walking around. And that guy, the last guy I just killed, he was... I could hear his footsteps. I don't know if that was a guy from the helicopter, but I could hear his footsteps. And to be honest, it was the first time me hearing footsteps, because I wasn't in a party, and I had my volume turned up pretty, pretty loud. So the game has some advantages and all that. It's very cool that like, every Supply game is going to be bound. something different. Every game can be different. Uh, I think that just comes with the BR game mode. It's Call of Duty. Call of Duty BR, man. Uh, of course I'm going to fucking love it. Right now, right now it's a love-hate relationship. But I think I've had that with every BR game. Everyone has that with every BR game. Because if you're good, like let's say you are really good, like let's say esports team you're still gonna have bad games so the game is is a lot luck based and a lot of skill base if you have really good luck or knowledge as well knowledge is good because there are vehicle spawns there are crate spawns there are like little shortcuts into rooms and all that but I would love to see what else they do with this game, to be honest. Uh, and I know they're really, really trying so hard on Blackout. I'm, I'm, a, I'm thinking that uh, Treyarch is wanting this to last for, you know, the lifespan of Call of Duty does, which is a year. Which is good, which is good, but also, I don't know. They have to put out some fucking really good content for, for their competitor. Like, you're gonna really have to listen to your fucking, like, followers. Because I would drop this game for Fortnite in a heartbeat, I would say. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. But if you're not gonna listen to us, like, what I would like is just a visual. Kind of visual kind of update where I can see how much HP the enemy killed, uh, the enemy that killed me. I like to see if they were using dead silence or if they were using any other equipment nearby or anything like that. I like to have information on my screen of why I died. I hate going, what is his HP? I want to see how much damage I put on him. I know with that kind of information, you're not going to get anything, but at least I can go, oh, okay, it was, it was rock and dead silence. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Yeah, that sucks. But, I don't know, I, I, I like information like that, there's nothing you can do, it's not like if he was on 2 HP, I would go, Oh, you should have fucking died! No, it's just, you can't do anything about it, but there's always that, like, the, the thought in the back of your head going, Oh, okay, well that sucked. Next game! And it's just so easy to get into games here and there, it's just, I don't know. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I hope they give the as much attention as they say. And to be honest, I hope they keep up with weekly updates and all that. And not like shitty updates. I don't want like fucking little like... I think every update they've said, oh, the fucking connection is good, stability or whatever is like... We're improving now. I'm like, dude, they keep saying that, but... I, I shouldn't be so harsh. I shouldn't be so harsh on it because it is so much better than what it used to be. I think I get a little uh, cheeky snipe coming soon. Man, it's... This game just brings so much. 
so much opportunities and just amazing gameplay. I, I think I've got, like, I think I go get on a massive fucking kill streak in Fire Range on one game. Like, I think one of my teammates said, I'm like, you fuckers, and I went full on raid mode and fucking tried hard. But, Blackout, I really do enjoy Blackout. Uh, I definitely want to, I don't know. Stream is a little tough because I always hate getting frustrated. I really hate getting frustrated over games on streaming. And I just hate it and this doesn't become enjoyable for me because I, I prefer perfection. I know, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to that way. And while we're talking about streaming, that is what I've been doing. Uh, I, I don't know if I was trying to keep it a secret, but I was trying to hype it up, I guess. I will be starting streaming daily. I'll be taking uh, Saturday and Sunday off. But uh, I'll think of a schedule. Uh, right now I'm just doing my own visuals and my own, like, I don't know about sound effects. I think I'm going to buy sound effects. I know nothing about fucking music and audio bites and all that shit. I am working on some visuals, my camera layout, my uh, follow alert. I'm not worried about uh, subscribers and donations at the moment because I honestly don't care. It'd be cool if you sub, that's pretty cool. But following is definitely the biggest like thing you could do right now. And you should just hey, go down and link below and yeah, see what's going on. I will be starting some uh, test streams. <laughs> A little bit later on in the, the this month, which may be after Christmas. But yeah, I am I am working so hard on this. Like, <laughs> I'm one of those people that you know. Uh, TT goes here. You have two weeks to finish this homework. It's a long one, so you should probably start tonight or whatever. And then I go and do my own shit for. A week and a bit and I've got three days left or two days left. That is me. I'm the guy that does his homework when there's two days left and I'm stressing stressing out so fucking goddamn much. I said to myself that when it comes close to the end of the year I'm going to just focus on getting my stream as good as I can. As perfect as I want it to be. That's that's what I want. I, I want it to feel like me I don't want it to buy any um I didn't want it to buy any overlays I know a lot of uh streamers do do that do do <laughs> not big streamers they make their own or they pay uh people to do that I would love to pay for people to do it but I don't know who to contact and all that so I'm like yeah first time streaming let's try and do this all by myself it, I think it's a really good chapter for for me because I've been doing YouTube for so long that I I understand uh I understand bits in here on how to make somewhat of a good content, um, and with YouTube, the the thing I re like, okay, with YouTube here, let's do a little bit of a serious talk, I don't know if we have any much longer, but let's say here with YouTube, I wanted to do some, because I, uh, alright, well, <laughs> We're going to have to go back even further from what I was about to say. I started ga uh, properly fucking gaming, like, I would say during high school. I was gaming before then, but nothing too serious. You know, I played a bit of Banjo-Kazooie. I had a childhood, let's say that. I had a childhood where, yeah, we I played GTA, Vice City, and San Andreas, and Banjo-Kazooie and all that. But I think during primary school, I was like, oh, no, the fucking the cool thing is to ride a bike and go to a skate park and all that. So I found gaming on the Xbox 360. That's when I'm like, holy shit, these, these achievements that are popping and accumulating a number. And if you get a higher number, people are like sucking your dick and shit. <laughs> no, they're not sucking my dick. But I don't know, I just like seeing that number grow. And like I said, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So... I do want to stream doing achievements, and I've, I've definitely made a video on this, and if you go follow Brown Man on Twitch, or Stallion, Stallion something, I, I forget, sorry, I'm a very forgetful person, and I'm really tired right now, but I want to, I want to do, do them, I don't want to actually do them, but I want to, I want to, uh, do what they do, I want to play games, Get achievements, 100% them, and all that crap. That's what I want to do. And 
The thing is, you can't really do that on YouTube. You can, but I haven't found a way how to do that. And to be honest, I think Twitch would just be a lot more easier for me to do it. Because then that way I can just not edit a fucking eight hour video of me trying 100% let's say bully i will still will be doing youtube it's just the fact that i i can't just physically make a video like i cater to what i think is good on youtube i cater to like uh funny moments games and i don't turn them into 20 series long videos or commentaries or uh i do I have a few full Let's Plays going on at the moment, and I'm really sorry for anyone who's been watching my Spider-Man series, but the Call of Duty came out, and then now Red Dead came out, and it's just right now, everything is fucking on me. Everything is on me, it's tough. But I'll get there in the end. I will be starting streaming next year. First day, January 1st. On it, man. And if you do like watching just varieties of games, because oh, once again, I don't really care for subscribers or monies uh i would do really appreciate follows and uh just you know come by and see how we go because it's gonna be the first day of streaming i don't oh man i really want to i really want to make this into a thing youtube i, I don't know where i stand with them at the moment with the whole like uh, they, they're really not catering to the smaller creators and they're making it really tough. That's also on me. Uh, once again, if I started doing that seriously, I could probably be where I want to be, which is, I think my first goal was a thousand. And it's just, I understand the grind, but boy, boy, it's getting tough, man. So I think Twitch is my next chapter and branching out is always good. Branching out is really good because then they see you and they go, oh, let's see what else this person's doing and boom. So that is what I really like to do and that is what I'm working on right now. I wish I can show you something, what I'm actually working on, but I have nothing worthy of a video. <laughs> I've, I've just, I've done my, B, I'm doing my BRB screen right now and I've done my cam and my notifications. I just need to do the sound for the notifications and all that it's gonna be tough so if i don't make videos if i don't make a, a lot of videos this month just know that i'm working really hard on this sweet thing anyway i think that's the end of the video it's finished for me but let's see about editing but anyways guys if you do want to see uh um check out my twitch account right now it should be down in the description i think it's zero underscore unknown no, i think that's my twitter it's just zero unknown whatever my name is and you should find me there. It should be the octopus, my little logo. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video and you'd like to see more, please leave a like. And yeah, ready? Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.